Welcome to NeverQuitMath.com. This is Mr. Carter, your instructor, and we're about to go through the first assignment, all right? First thing you want to do is just get on a, any computer, whether it's a Mac, PC, doesn't matter, and you just want to hop on the internet. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Web Assign, and then we're going to join the class. So just go to your browser up there, double-click Highlight, put in Web Assign. Dot com. I know this is slightly different from what you see on the handout, but this is the easiest way I've seen that some people can do it, just in case some of you are having certain issues with the computer. All right? Go to WebAssign.com. On the right side, you see where on the, it says have a class key? Right next to account login and login right here. Double click on that. Once you go to have a class key, you want to go to that sheet of paper that I gave you earlier in class. And what you're going to do is just put in the code, the class key. So for us, that's bmcc.cuny. And then after that, it's going to be 1232-tab-9665. Input those numbers. Just click Submit. Of course, you'll see the name, Franz Carter. you see the school, the class, and the section. You know this is your class. Then you just click, yes, this is my class. Right here. If you already have a WebAssign account, obviously you will go to this one. But for those of us who do not have an account yet, you got to go to I need to create a WebAssign account. Then you will go to continue. When you get here, first part is your preferred username. This one is totally up to you. You can put it as you want. You know, I would ask if you just not put any curses or anything like that. But have your freedom to write what you want to write. So I'm just going to put a default one. I'm going to put student A. All right, password. Just pick whatever password you want. Something you remember. Then for this part, we need your real first name and your real last name. This part is no preferred name or username. All right. So let me put mine's in. And then email address, also mandatory. So I'm gonna put info at never quit math dot com so feel free to contact me at email at any time all right so your student ID you don't necessarily have to put it if you want to put it there's no problem with that too you could just put it in all right then you go to create my account if you did everything right it's to say your account has been created from here you can go to login now and right here, they're going to ask you the question, what do you want to do? Do you want to purchase online an access code? So what it is, is in the future, you're going to need an access code to access the system to do your homeworks. The access code, you can get two ways. One way that you can get your access code is you can buy the textbook. And with the textbook, you could pay, I think, an extra $5 or extra dollar to, and you will get the access code another way is that you can purchase the access code separately online that's about thirty five dollars if you don't want to pay the amount of the whole textbook so once you get your access code you can continue I know for the first set of few days you might not have had your textbooks yet so what you can do is you can start continue my trial period right or start a trial period yours will say 13 days this say 12 days because I just did this process before all right so you go to continue and here you are. This is where you're going to see your assignments. This is where you're going to see some announcements outside of hearing it in class, etc. So, you know, you could take some time to look around. Um, all the homeworks here, you see the default due date is to May 11th, but soon that will change for the different homeworks, okay? And what it is, is for right now, know that the homeworks due date, I will give to you in class, regardless of what it says here, all right? So, 1.1, let's check out the first homework. Over here, you got the questions by number, and over here, you have 0 over 1, 0 over 1. See, the second number out of the 0 over the 1 here tells you the value of the question. And 0 is the amount of points that we have. Why? Because we didn't do this question yet. So all of them say 0 out of 1. So as you go through the homeworks, you basically can try your best and put your answer there. All right? Also, right here, there's four different options for every question. Read it means you can read something from the textbook about this problem. Second, watch it means you can watch a demonstration of problems similar to this. Master it means you can do some practice to make sure you 
got it down and then answer a question. Chat about it is probably just chatting with other people, but I'm not sure if the communication is enabled on this yet. Practice another version. That's exactly self-explanatory. You could practice other problems like that. So just looking at it, going down in general, these are the questions. This is how you do the work. You continue. And when you're done, of course, at the bottom, submit all questions. That's how you can submit your work. All right. Another thing, too, let's just say you answered uh, eight and nine questions and you got three more or four more left. You can always do save all work so that you can do that later. All right. So for the most part, that's it with WebAssign. I'm just going to log out right here. And I'll see you guys in class, man. I look forward to having an incredible semester. All right.